Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get dark multiplayer working on Kerbal Space Program. I've had some requests since my last video, so I'm going to show you how to get that working. First off, we're going to go to darkmultiplayer.org, dtacmp.org, and I will leave this link in the description. So it's pretty simple. What we're going to do, we're going to go to the downloads tab here, and then we're going to download the client, the server, and then if you want the updater, but we'll leave that for a later date. So let me hit okay here. Go ahead and open both of these files up. Server, client. For the server, go ahead and drag this over to your desktop or wherever you're gonna wanna host the server files and take your client and have that ready. Next, you're gonna to wanna to find the location of your Kerbal Space Program. There's two ways you can do this. The easiest way is to open up Steam or wherever you bought it, right click on Kerbal, go to Manage and Browse Local Files and it will open up for you. Otherwise, you have to find the location of your installs, which would be somewhere Steam Library, then your Steam Apps, Common, then you're gonna look for Kerbal Space Program. And then here, what we're gonna be looking for is our game data. So go back over here to our client folder, double click the DMP client, and then drag and drop the game data into your folder here and replace those files. I just installed it again. And then you'll know if that's installed properly by opening up your game data and you see dark multiplayer here. So in terms of that, this should be set up and all you need to join your friend server and have that running. But if you want to host a server yourself, that goes into part two, which is your server. So go ahead and open up the folder here and run it once by double clicking and you'll see some folders populate and be created. And then you're going to want to close that. Open up your config folder, your settings, you can right click and then open with notepad. And then here you have all your settings that you can change in terms of your name, your ports, um, which game mode you're playing on, the name of the server. Right now it's just DMP server. Um, how many people you want, stuff like that. It's pretty self-explanatory. The main thing I would change is the game difficulties and the creative mode, which is sandbox. So once you have everything created properly here, all you have to do is close that and then run your server. And it's pretty important when you go to run your server, you're going to run it as administrator. And as you can see, this is running here. So what we'll do, we will open up KSP now. So the first time you launch your game, it is going to go ahead and load uh, again. And it might take, you know, a minute or two. So be patient with it. Don't click around too much because it might freeze and um, break the process. Okay guys, so we're loaded in and I added the server window here to the top left corner for you to follow along. So once you load in, you're gonna see this window over here to the right and then you can create your name. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to add and this is the server you're gonna add. So the name is just for your own purposes on your own server side. So you'll know for when you're changing through servers, which um, one you'll be connecting to. This is the address that's given to you as default um, for me, I'm a local host, so I would put that in. Um, otherwise, you're gonna ask your friend for their server address. Usually, that's gonna be their IPv4 um, address, which they can either find by going through their IP config or just Googling what's my IP. But for me, since I'm a host, I will type in local host. The name will be local server. And this is our port, leave that standard here. We'll add that server and connect and then everything should start properly, which it did. And you can see on our server window, everything loads in, which is great. And then once your server is going, you can go over to your server window and also type in chats like message of the day. And then that will broadcast here. Simple things like that. So you can talk to your server as you host it as well. And then all you would have to do to get your friends to join is share the IP that I told you, the IPv4, and everything should be working. So I hope that helped and to give you guys an updated view of how everything's working in 2023. So I hope you guys enjoy and have fun playing Kerbal with your friends.
Thanks for watching.